If you're a fan of Indian food, then now's the time to branch out and try something other than butter chicken, even though we butter love chicken. butter chicken. He is incredible. Mm. We sent Paul McHugh on a culinary tour, it was easier said than done for me, <laughs> of the Indian community in Melbourne, where there's a lot more to a curry that meets the eye. Paulie. As soon as you set foot in the suburb of Dandenong, about 30 minutes out of Melbourne, you'd be forgiven for thinking you were in India. The spice, the colour, the smells, the language, the amazing abundance of great food make it no doubt that this is the home to Australia's largest Indian community. Himanshi Manchalua has lived here for nine years and she's passionate about Indian food. <laughs> Himanshi, it's not all about uh, takeaway and, and uh, butter chicken, is it, Indian food? No, it's not. With a population of 1.2 billion, the food and the flavours change every 50 kilometres. How many different dishes are there? Oh, we'd never be able to count. Thousands. Thousands, thousands. and thousands. Well, let's go shopping and maybe we can just look at 100 dishes. Sounds what do you good. Think? That'd be nice. Balle, 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 balle. What the heck is that? Well, that's a bit of melon or a bit of gourd. It's called karela in Hindi. Yeah. You cut it open. The seeds are the parts that actually make it all bitter. Um, it's actually very good for bringing down your blood sugar level oh. and also very good for diabetic patients. Look at that. Yeah. It's, and that, so the seeds are the bitter part? That's the bitter Can part. Can I eat one? Is I, it too? Yeah, really no. not. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Now I know um I know what these are. Yeah. These are okra. Oh, right, yeah. What do you do with this? So the way to check if this is fresh is yeah. you break the end off, and if it snaps, yeah. that's a fresh okra. That's mm. the one you want to buy. And does that have certain health properties? It does. It's very high in vitamin A, B, C, I didn't take iron, my this morning. and fibre. <laughs> and this one is an Indian fly swap. You get. <laughs> you do, is that right? That's absolutely right. Oh, but that's my, okay. What is it, it? It's the curry leaf. Ah, so these are the curry leaves. It leaves. is nothing like a curry powder. And a lot of times people mistake curry leaves make curry powder, but that's not true. Mm -hmm. Curry leaves actually come from the word curry, which is a Tamil word, and it's predominantly used in South Indian cuisine. Okay, well, off to the spa shop then. Let's go. Yeah, it's a weird taste, that one. India produces over 75 different types of spices, so it's no wonder they make their way into every single dish. What are some of the main spices you'd use? Well, well, this is a traditional Indian spice box. Every self-respecting Indian girl should have one of these. This is what we use every day in our cooking, like turmeric powder. It's a very good antiseptic. You know, last thing before you go to bed at night, a spoon of honey and half a spoon of turmeric powder is just going to soothe that cough away. Oh, really? It is. Ah, and chilli. Chilli. Which... Is traditional or not? It's not traditionally Indian. It came to us with the Portuguese in the 1400s. Pepper, on the other hand, yes. this is traditionally Indian. So, but really the heat comes not from chilli, but from pepper? From pepper. Wow, I didn't know that. Learn something every day. If you've got a sweet tooth, you're going to love Indian sweets. They're traditionally shared at festivals and family celebrations, but I say any day is good. I'm a bit worried about these because they're very, very sweet. These ones are actually fried on a very low heat to get the beautiful brown colour, then dipped in sugar syrup, and they're called gulab jamun. But it's like a gooey donut, it's dripping with sugar syrup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the sugar coming out when you just put your knife in it. Hmm. You're right, it's like a really syrupy kind of donut. Yeah. And this one? This one is called Raskulla and it is basically a Bengali squeeze. Yep. Um, and what they do here is that milk is separated with citrus and then it's again cooked in the sugar syrup. <laughs> Now, we're all familiar with the rich North Indian food here in Oz, but I'm going to try a delicious dosa, which is a lighter South Indian dish. What's the process? So it's um, basically a very hot grill, and uh, the process is that the batter is spread out like a thin pancake and just let it cook on the really hot grill so it becomes crispy and you just fold it in as it's finished. Traditionally you would eat it with the coconut chutney and this is the slightly spicier one. This has got a tomato base to it. It's got some chili mm. and curry leaves again in it with some right. mustard seeds. Yeah, I'm going to get into the bread chutney because I like that a little bit on my vat. Pick up and eat. 
perfect. <laughs> I could eat like a prince all day, couldn't I? Well, in that case... Yeah, thanks very much. Make you a prince. I shouldn't have said anything. How do I look in this thing? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I really want some of that. Food. I want what he's having. I really. I just sat there the whole time going, really want some of that. Those, you know, the little donutty one with mm, sugar. Mm. That's the one I want right Delicious. now. Delicious. Coming.